Does anyone remember the days where I used to throw the boxes at myself and try and catch them for the start of my videos? That just went wrong so many times. You saw the succinct finished version of it. I threw many boxes at myself and hit myself with many boxes. So I'm glad I don't do that anymore. But hi, today I'm gonna to be unboxing the April Illumicrate box. I am a rep for Illumicrate, so if you'd like to receive 5% off the three to six month subscription, you can use Booksnest5 at checkout. The theme for April is Be My Enemy, which is giving me sci-fi vibes. I'm not the biggest sci-fi fan. I much prefer fantasy to sci-fi, but let's see what's inside. I'm assuming this is gonna be some kind of drinking device. All right, first item is indeed a drinking item. It is a tumbler that says the vermilion bird on the front of it. This is inspired by Iron Widow and is designed by Forensics and Flowers. I'm getting the impression that this might be a pin banner, possibly. That is a chunky pin banner. So we have got a pin banner that is designed by Niall C. Grant, and this is inspired by Realm of the Elderlings by Robin Hobb, which is a series that I really need to read. It says you can declare your allegiance to the Farseer family, so I assume that this is their crest or like their logo possibly. That's cool. I, I do need to read this series. I really, really do. And I enjoy pin banners, but I put mine away when I redecorated my office. I put my pin banners away and I never got them back out. And I actually don't know where I put them. I think they're probably in my wardrobe, but I did used to have all my pins out and now the shelves are done a bit differently and I didn't put them back up, but I do like a good pin banner. We got a little pouch with what I think is gonna be one of the Illumicrate swords inside. It is indeed one of the little swords. It's a very sparkly one. Hang on, uh, can you, there you go, you can see. It's a little teeny tiny sword replica designed by Stacey McAvoy Kant, and this is inspired by Throne of Glass. The final item we have before the book is a paper craft kit. This is designed by Rosie Thorns 88 and is inspired by the Poppy Wall, which is a fantastic series. I never really know what I meant to do with paper craft kits. I mean, I could just read the instructions and find out, but I'm never really sure what what they're meant to look like. Like, are they, is it like a 3D thing? I have no idea, but there's a paper craft kit. Okay, this definitely looks like a sci-fi as predicted. This is Some Desperate Glory by Emily Tesh. It's a very shiny cover. My lights are bouncing right off of this. Hang on, let me show you the sprayed edges because they're so pretty. I love the galaxy effect on these. Have a look under the dust jacket. Oh, there's a sign book plate and the end pages and end pages at the back. Oh, I like that under the dust jacket. I say this every time, but I really enjoy foiled embossing under dust jackets. All right, let's have a look what this is about. While we live, the enemy shall fear us. We are what's left. We are what must survive. All her life, Kier has trained for the day she can avenge the destruction of planet Earth. Raised on the Gaia station alongside the last scraps of humanity, she is one of the best warriors of her generation, the sword of a dead planet. Then Commander assigns her brother to certain death and relegates her to the nursery to bear sons. Ooh. As she knows she must make, must take humanity's revenge into her own hands. Alongside her brother's brilliant but seditious friend and a lonely captive alien, Kier must escape from everything she's ever known. If she succeeds, she will find a universe far more complicated than she was taught and far more wondrous than she could have ever imagined. Some Desperate Glory is a thrillingly told science fiction tale about the wreckage of war, the family you find and who you must become when and every choice is stripped from you. This standalone space opera is the highly anticipated debut novel from a standing award winner and Crawford Award finalist, Emily Tesh. I don't tend to read much sci-fi. I like watching sci-fi. I like Star Trek, for example, a lot, and I love Doctor Who, but I don't tend to read much of it. I did read the Lunar Chronicles back in the day, but this actually, this, this sounds appealing. Like it, it's got the sci-fi element, but it's also got the epic moments in it. So I actually, I thought I was not gonna like the sound of that, but I actually do like the sound of it. So the Illumicrate exclusive edition comes with a signed book plate and features an exclusive hardback edition of a trade paperback with a shiny foil cover, digital printed edges, foil embossing on the hardback and end paper artwork, different designs front and back by Carly Draws Illustration. That is the April Illumicrate box. My favorite item is gonna be the pin banner because it's a cool item and it reminds me to read Robin Hobb, which I will, I will do. It's gonna happen and I will vlog it. As I said, I am a rep for Illumicrate, so if you'd like to receive 5% off the three to six months subscription, you can use my code BOOKSNEST5 at checkout. Why am I covered in glitter? What had glitter on it? Ah, oh, it's the sword. I now have this all over me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please do give it a thumbs up, comment down below what your favourite item was, subscribe to see more of my face on your feed, and down below you can find my Patreon and my online shop. Thank you so much for watching, keep smiling and stay positive.